Excuse me. Uh, I'm just... Yeah, thanks. So, you're Gale. Yeah. No. Sorry? No, I'm the one who's sorry. This is just a no. What do you mean, this is just a no? This is a no. But I just sat down. I get that. But if I can tell already that this is a no, why should I waste your time? How can you tell already? Believe me, this is a no. A complete no? An utter, epic, complete no. Wow. Yep. Well, you did say on your profile that you were brutally honest. I did. And that was brutal. And honest. Oh, I have no doubt about that. As long as we're clear. Crystal clear. Completely crystal clear. You can let it go now. Honestly, I'm not sure that I can. Great. Would it have been too... Uh, been too much trouble to smile, nod, make small talk? Exactly. I am so tired of all of that. So completely, utterly tired to the core of my very essence. To be completely honest, I never want to play that role ever again. Not for you. Not for anyone. Well, fine. But And it I, isn't I... like I even know you, right? Right? You, you, you don't... Exactly. Know. We don't know each other. And we aren't going to. So why beat about the bush about it? Why waste your time? Seriously, why waste your time? Well? Oh, you're really asking? Of course I am really asking. Well? If you had an initial impression of me that was some sort of deal-breaker... Like I reminded you of someone you used to date or something, and I don't know, I'm spitballing here. Mm -hmm. Then I guess it would be dishonest to go through the motions for the sake of decorum. Perfect, you do get it. Thank you for understanding. You're w welcome, I guess. Okay then, I'm off to yoga. You, you're going? Just like that? Just like that. Yes, I am. Uh, goodbye. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> what the hell was that? And here's your latte grande and almond biscotti. What? I didn't do it. Oh, right. They must have been hers. You mean the woman who just walked out? Yeah, just got up and walked right out. Oh. I can take these back and... No, you can leave them. I'll... I'll have them. Are you sure? Yeah, leave them. Okay, then. Anything else? No, this is fine. Thanks. Spoken Realms presents... Yet Another Dating App, written and directed by Stephen J. Cohen. Starring Shiromi Arcerio, Gail Shallon, and Eunice Wong. Featuring Robin Miles and Deepthi Gupta. Act One, Launch, Part Three. I said, Oh my god, Cynthia can drink Chardonnay like it's fucking water. I swear the woman is part fish. I mean, if fish swim in Chardonnay. Uh, it's Paige, by the way. Oh my god, my head. I am so drunk. How the hell does Cynthia do it? Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Um, so look, Cynthia buried me in numbers, and even though my brain is soupy, I think I got a hell of a lot done before she put me in a cab and sent me home. She said that there's another potential buyer, and she's trying to use them to get match group to make their offer sooner instead of later. I don't feel so good. Gotta drink some water. Oh, God. Just breathe. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, right. Uh, Cynthia wants me to finish up some more projections for her in the morning. 
So I won't be at the office before 11 at the earliest. And, and, uh, oh, what else was there? Oh, yeah, she asked me to tell you that she needs to push back your meeting with her on Thursday from 2 to 3. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna go find some Tylenol or something and head to bed. Hey, see you tomorrow. Sidra! Uh, it's me, your mother. Are you still screening your calls? Oh, well. Let me know when would be the best time to catch you. I never seem to hold the time difference in my mind. Love you, my chand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> Sounds like you two had a great morning. What's all this food? Bex and I went out to dinner last night. Yeah, we couldn't decide on what to have, so we ordered some stuff wrapped to go and warmed it up here this morning. <laughs> Eggplant rollatini? Breakfast of champions! Mm. Want some? Uh, no, I don't think my stomach could handle it. What's all this about a new buyer? Who is it? I don't know. Cynthia wouldn't say. Not even a hint? <laughs> she dropped hints. She dropped a lot of hints. Typical Cynthia. I was just in too much of a booze haze to pick any of the hints up. Do you remember anything? Anything at all? Or is it lost in that wine-scented fog as well? What can I unscramble? Um, well, it was all about Becky. That much I remember. What about me? Somehow it's all connected to your research internship. Twitter? Oh my god. What if it's the original founder, Jack Dorsey? He's investing lots of stuff right now. Please, no. No, it's not him, but it's connected to him somehow. No, no, no. Oh my god, my head. How does Cynthia drink like that? Any other clues? What's in the report she needs you to make? What? What's in the report that she needs from you? What kind of data? Our current server expenditures, projected growth and cost per 10,000 new users. Why? I, uh... I need some air. You okay, Bex? I'll, uh, I'll be back in a bit. I just, I just need some... I just need some air. Um, I'll be back. That was weird. Very. What's with her? Not a clue. Thank you for calling DateWork Support. Press 1 for technical support. Press 2 to leave feedback or suggestions for the app. You have reached the DateWork suggestion line. The app is in constant development. There are new features implemented on a weekly basis. Many of them come from suggestions like yours. Start your suggestion at the sound of the beep. When you are done, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, my name is Chris Gordon, user ID 616412. Okay, so about a week ago, I ran into another user of the app, and I'd like to meet him, for real. But I can't find him through the app. He and I were in the same bar to meet different people through the app. I know this is a long shot. His name is Steve. He's not an architect. And he didn't recently move here from Germany. God, I sound like a stalker. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm not a user of your app. My friend Dawn is. I don't know her user number. She's been on quite a few dates through your app. More than most others put together, actually. Nobody amazing, so she says. But she just... She seems a lot more hopeful, if that makes sense. So... Thanks for that. Keep up the good work. Hi. Have you ever considered adding a location thing? A crossed paths thing to the app? <laughs> I'm not making any sense. This guy got stood up. Well, not really actually stood up. Worse, really. The woman 
got up and walked out on him right before the food arrived. They were at one of my tables. He took the food anyway. He sat there looking all dejected and stuff. Anyway, I could see that he was scrolling through your app. I felt sorry for him. He seemed like a nice guy. I just couldn't get up the nerve to say anything to him, especially not while I was working. So I went in back, and grabbed my phone, and tried to find him on the app. He was right in the next room, but there was no way for me to connect. Through the app, I mean. A location thing would be nice. Hi, this is Steven Decker, user number 412616. I'm hoping that you can help me find someone that I know is on the app, but I haven't been matched with. All I know is that his name is Chris. I don't know much more about him. Have you thought about adding a feature where people can manually ask if they match? I don't know how something like that would work, but I think it would be a good thing. I know this is a long shot, but if Chris reaches out to you as well, would you mind connecting us? I wanted to say something to him that night in the bar, but eh, just something to consider. Again, my name is Steven Decker, and my user number is 412-616. Cynthia, what are you... Break out the champagne glasses and gather round. While I share the tale of a deal without equal in the history of startups. Seriously, get the champagne glasses and gather around. Where's Rebecca? Get her in here. She went out for a walk a while ago. Hours ago. We don't know where she is. Well, 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 then text her and get her back in here. This is big. Yeah, we tried that. She left her phone and her laptop at the desk. We can't reach her. Oh, fine. Her loss, she will kick herself for not being here when I tell you the news. Glasses. Champagne glasses. Come on, you two. I'm not drinking alone. (sighs) Right. Uh, Did Match Group make an offer? Ha. No, not Match. Oh, my God. They are going to be absolutely livid. When they hear about this hell, they will be shaking in their boots with this kind of backing. We are going to turn the whole online dating industry upside down. There's an actual offer, though? With real numbers and everything? Oh, this is a write-your-own-ticket, the world is your oyster, insert your favorite overused metaphor here kind of offer. Where is she? You're trying to wait in case (sighs) Becky gets back. I come in expecting to make an entrance and... Becky! There she is. Get over here, Miss MIT, and grab a glass. I've been holding this toast for you. Where were you? I needed some space. Uh, Time to think. How is all of this connected to Becky's internship at Twitter? You told them? They asked. (sighs) Turns out, your co-founder here wrote the code that has been essentially single-handedly responsible for the bulk of Twitter's non-ad revenue for years now. What? Uh, yeah, uh, well... She figured out how to turn the current mood on Twitter into an algorithm that anyone can pay to use to figure out what the general public will think about just about anything Brands renaming products, music labels testing names for new albums, politicians testing everything from campaign signs to names for bills to idiotic talking points. Becky's code is still used at Twitter to help anyone test out any idea before it ever goes public. Jack speaks very highly of you. Jack Dorsey. I was at a gala event talking with Marissa about the company that she's been running since leaving Yahoo. Moonshine, sunshine, something or the other, I don't know. And there he was, all five foot eleven, with incredibly blue eyes. And he speaks of you very highly, Becky. But you said earlier that it wasn't Jack Dorsey. It's not. No, Cynthia. No? Know what? Paige, do you know what's going on? I'm lost. 
Same. You can't be serious. Why would you turn this down? What are we turning down? You don't understand, Cynthia. It just wouldn't work. I am completely lost. It wouldn't work? Why wouldn't it work? Actually, uh, it doesn't work. Bex, what are you doing? What do you mean? It doesn't work? Why are you doing this, Bex? Who is the offer from? Elon Musk cannot buy DWorks. I think I'm going to be sick. Elon Musk? Yes. Jack and Elon were talking about data sets. Jack started reminiscing about Rebecca's breakthrough code. Then Elon asked where she was working now. And that brought him to me. Now, what did you mean by it doesn't work? It did work. It just doesn't work anymore. What? How is the app still running? <sighs> We've been doing the matches by hand. What? It isn't as much work as you would think. Why? Fake news. Fake news? Broke the app? Oh my god. Of course fake news broke the app. <sighs> she got it faster than I did. You didn't tell me. Why didn't you tell me? Because if Match Group bought us, they would have just shelved the app. The algorithm is broken right now, but over time it will start to work again, eventually. Go on. Match would have been buying us to kill the competition in the space. Dead or alive, buying the idea of our app is the same value to them in the end. I see. But Elon, he wouldn't buy it to kill it. Correct. He'd run it. He'd expand it. He'd bend it, break it. It would be the Twitter acquisition all over again. All three of you knew it was broken? Yes. How long? What? How long have you known? How long have I been pouring money into a dead app? Cynthia, you have to believe me. I only just figured this out a few days ago. I'm only beginning to understand exactly why it broke. Until you understand why it broke, you can't fix it. Can you fix it? I don't know. It really scares me to say that out loud. Where are the glasses? You still want the champagne glasses? Want? No. Need? Yes. Sidra, here's yours. Thank you. Paige, this one's for you. Thank you. And Rebecca, please, join us. What are we doing? Originally, this champagne was meant for a celebration. Now it has become a pact. A pact? What do you mean? No more secrets. Am I drinking alone? No more secrets. Paige? No more secrets. Sidra, are you joining us? No more secrets. Good. I'll deal with Elon. How? You know what he's like. If you tell him that he can't buy it, he'll only want to buy it more. I may be able to use that to our advantage. No promises, though. Is the matching something you want to hand over to interns or something I can hire a few extra... No, I think we should keep that part between the four of us. A few more interns could handle some of your other tasks so you could focus a bit more on really doing those matches. Mm, that makes sense. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to be so much angrier, Cynthia. Oh, make no mistake. I am livid. I feel used. And I feel betrayed. But this is business. And I am not going to let my fury lash out at each of you right now. I can't afford it. And neither can you. Cynthia, we're so sorry. Please, don't. Don't. Just don't. We'll make it up to you, Cynthia. I truly hope so. You have been listening to Yet Another Dating App, written and directed by Stephen J. Cohen. 
Starring Shiromi Arcerio as Sidra, Gail Shallon as Becky, and Eunice Wong as Paige. Featuring Robin Miles as Cynthia Latham and Deepti Gupta as Mariam Alam. Other characters brought to life by Lisa Flanagan, Stephen Kilcullen, Marnie Penning, and Mark Sanderlin. The production manager was me, Andy Melendez. And the video editor was Olivia Arthen. Yet Another Dating App was recorded with help from Kitty Hendricks, Amy Rubinate, Mosaic Audio, and John Marshall Media, and produced through an agreement with SAG-AFTRA, supporting actors making a living through their craft since 1933. Yet Another Dating App by Stephen J. Cohen. Text and production copyrights 2023 is a Spoken Realms production. Follow us on social media everywhere as Spoken Realms. And learn more about the show at SpokenRealms.com slash yada. That's SpokenRealms.com slash Y-A-D-A. Thank you for listening. 